YouTube, Paul Phillips here with Patek Photography and Gear Reviews. I'm really excited today. I've got a brand new bag from Think Tank Photo. It's called the Airport Navigator. It's a brand new rolling bag from a company that makes phenomenal camera bags, as you know. So let's get right to it and have a look at this bag. Uh, we'll start with the outside first. On the top, there's a zippered opening here designed for Passport or a Pixel Pocket Rocket. You could take your Pocket Rocket and fit it in the top here if you want. Close the zipper. Just behind that, just behind, there's a heavy duty handle on top, of course. Um, there's a Velcro opening here for business cards. I got a couple of our business cards shoved inside. On the sides of the bag, you've got two mesh pockets here if you want to carry water bottles or your eyeglass case or whatever you have. The bag also comes with a shoulder strap, a very unique shoulder strap, I might add. It's kind of a split design thing, and the idea of this is that this split opening here fits over top of the handle from another bag, and I'll show you that in a second. The first thing I notice about this bag is the heavy duty handle setup on the back of the bag. Because the bag is designed to carry two full size digital SLRs, you know, that's, that's a fair amount of weight when you chuck all your gear in a bag like this, so you want a heavy duty handle uh, to, to take that weight and make sure it's going to last a lifetime. And I say heavy duty because we have two other bags from Think Tank, the Foresight and the Takeoff, and I just noticed the handle mechanism is a little beefier than those other two bags, which I think is a good thing. The other thing you'll notice too, the handle mechanism itself is external to the bag, so it's not uh, built into the bag and it doesn't take up interior space again, which is a good thing. Okay, if we lay the bag down, it's got a nice heavy duty uh, composite handle on the bottom here, a, a handle on the top. So if you have to pick the bag up and put it into the overhead bin, that's gonna be really easy to do. You've got a great set of roller wheels, one on either side. So this bag is gonna roll through the airports effortlessly without a doubt. The thing I really like about this bag, two zipper pulls, you open the flap, And you've got access, easy access, to two full-size digital SLRs, okay? And you can have the bag on the ground, and it just makes life so easy to reach in, grab your camera, and away you go. On the inside of the upper lid, you've got two zippered opening pouches here, so you can put lens wipes, business cards, whatever you want to fit in this, these openings here, one on either side. Another great feature. On the front of the bag, the bag is designed to handle two of your favorite items. First of all, your laptop, and in the same compartment where the laptop goes, there's another sleeve that you can actually slide in an iPad. So if you have both, this bag is gonna handle both for you. That is a really cool feature because I rarely travel without my laptop to download photos, that kind of thing. So really cool there. I'll turn this around uh, gingerly here so I don't dump all the contents out onto the floor. But uh, as you can see, We've got here uh, 70 to 200 lens, got a Hoodman hood loop down the bottom here. I've got uh, a 50 millimeter lens plus our teleconverter. The bag comes with Think Tank's rain cover as all Think Tank bags do. Got a Hoodman right angle viewer, put that over to the side. Uh, there's a, a macro 105 lens we've got in here, 28 to 105. I got two speed lights. And down under the speed light, I've got another camera, and actually, I can access that if I open the lid. So I've got my second camera with a 15 to 30 millimeter uh, wide angle lens. So this is bag is really, really spacious uh, if you got a fair amount of kit. Over on the right hand side here, I've got another think tank pouch. So I'll just pop this up for you so you can see. <laughs> 
So even with all this gear on the interior, there's still a generous opening on the right hand side to put in a couple of pouches. In this case, I find with our 70 to 200 Sigma lens, I find the uh, tripod mount is a little bit bulky. So it's easier to slide the lens in and out without this on. And then I still have room to just uh, lay the mount off to the side. Okay. Now, let's demonstrate one really unique feature of this bag. I think it's worthwhile to take a second and show you. And that is the bag's ability to piggyback onto another uh, traveler bag. Okay. I'm going to bring up our airport takeoff camera bag here. So if you're, you have your uh, shoulder strap attached like so, bring the bags together pretty straightforward. Lift up your handle on the other bag, and then it's simply a matter of running your handle through the slot on the bag, and then you've got this nice little piggyback mechanism and a setup, and away you go through the airport. I don't think it gets any better than that. Well, you know what? I can think of one thing. I've always wanted a camera bag that will carry, uh, like a navigator style bag that will carry camera gear and clothes. So if I, I ever had a, a request to make of Think Tank, if somebody could make, make a bag that would carry camera gear and clothes, I think that would be my ultimate all-time dream bag. But if you're looking for a bag to carry gear like this Navigator, you can't go wrong. Check it out on Think Tank's website. Uh, because the bag is so new, I believe they're not going to be available till about the middle of November. You're looking at about $249 from B&H. Uh, it's a great choice if you got uh, two full-size digital SLRs, a fair amount of kit. Uh, Go out and buy it with confidence. That's it for our, our initial look at this bag. Uh, hope it's been helpful. We'll see you soon. Bye for now.